Chapter 6, Celestial Bastard Blood Hiss, when Kang Chion saw the lavender blood emerging from the wound in his palm, his first reaction was shock. Then panic as he said in horror, Elder Dan, I'm not poisoned, am I? How could this be? This wasn't strange. Anyone else who saw their blood turn purple would think they were poisoned. It was still purple. If it was black, Kang Chion was afraid that he thought he was already dying. Dan Emperor was however full of excitement. He gave Kang Chion a blank look and cursed with a smile. Your brat is really born in bliss and doesn't know bliss. If the old man wasn't wrong, your brat should have a special blood lineage. The disappearance of all that spiritual energy you used to impact the foundation establishment was entirely for the purpose of activating the blood lineage. Special bloodline. Kang Chion was stunned at his words. He was only a chi practicing stage cultivator. How would he know about any special bloodline? However, seeing Emperor Dan's excitement, it was obviously something good, so at that moment, he stopped worrying. Dan Huang was full of excitement at the moment. He didn't expect that he had just been released and met someone with a special bloodline. He excitedly said to Kang Tion, Kid, you don't know that there are many things in the cultivation world that you wouldn't have thought of. This special bloodline is very rare in the cultivation world. But everyone who has a special bloodline cultivates with half the effort, and in the end, their achievements will surpass the others. As far as I know, in the cultivation world, there are ten special bloodlines and physics, like the Vermilion Bird's body, Zhuang Wu's body, King Long's body, and so on. These people with special bloodlines have talents that others don't have, so they're extraordinarily powerful, and one by one, they're all absolute geniuses. As for your kid's blood being purple, that's nothing strange. The blood of some people with special physique will also change. Like black, gold, green are not a few, your kid don't make a fuss. After listening to Emperor Dan's words, Kang Chion's heart was finally calm. Since it was a good thing, there was no need to worry. After thinking about it, Kang Chion asked, Elder Dan, since it's a special bloodline, how should I build my foundation? He didn't care about any special bloodline. Building the foundation was the big deal. Dan Emperor blankly glanced at Kang Tion and bristled, HMPH. Since I know that your brat is a special bloodline, the old man can naturally help you build your foundation. In fact, special bloodlines are just more powerful than ordinary people. So it's also very easy for them to build their foundation as long as they activate their bloodline completely. In other words, as long as you wait for your blood to finish turning purple, you can build your foundation. Really? Kang Tian was overjoyed when he heard this. This problem that had been troubling him could finally be solved, and he was instantly excited in his heart. Emperor Dan shook his head when he saw Kang Tian's happy appearance, thinking to himself that if your brat were to know the benefits brought about by a special bloodline, I'm afraid he would be even happier. But then again, this special bloodline of your brat's old me can't think of what special bloodline it is for a while. Let the old me think about it again. Alas, after being sealed for so long, there is a lot of old me's memories that haven't been recovered. Emperor Dan scratched his head. He knew of several physics and special bloodlines. There wasn't any secret stories about purple blood. Kang Chon, however, couldn't care less, he said urgently, Elder Dan. It's better to ignore the matter of the bloodline. It's important to help me build my foundation first. Being trapped in the Qi practicing stage for so many years, he now had a brain to build his foundation. Where would he care about the bloodline issue? Here is a bottle of 50 foundation building, Dan. It should be enough for you to awaken your bloodline, and you will be able to build your foundation by then. Emperor Dan threw Kang Tion a vial, then sat to the side to meditate. Don't disturb the old man. The old man needs to think about what kind of bloodline you kid has here. Kang Tion didn't bother disturbing Emperor Dan. He took the vial, then sat aside and started taking the foundation building Dan. Seeing that there were 50 foundation building pills in a bottle, Kang Tion finally knew why Emperor Dan 
didn't care about foundation building pills. Dare I say that he could take foundation building pills as a meal? Of course, at this moment, Kang Chong was taking foundation establishment pills as food. After eating a full 30 foundation establishment dan, Kang Chong suddenly felt a very comfortable feeling welling up in his body. He cut his palm and saw that his blood had completely turned purple. Kang Chong knew that his bloodline had finally awakened and now he only needed to take another foundation establishment pill to successfully build his foundation. With a mixture of excitement and apprehension, Kang Chion once again took the foundation establishment pill. Sure enough, this time, the spiritual energy in his body did not disappear, but instead became even stronger. And that thick spiritual energy instantly broke through the Rendu to veins that had trapped Kang. John for nine long years, allowing him to advance to the foundation establishment stage. Arsai roar. Kang Tian opened his eyes, to purple rays of light shot out from his eyes as he yelled up to the sky. The entire stone cave was windless and the long hair on his back flew up, making his entire person look domineering and imposing. The Dan Emperor, who was meditating on the side, was also awakened by the movement of Kang Tian's foundation building. Good boy, to have such an aura. This domineering mood seems like I've heard of it somewhere. Yes, it's that kind of bloodline, Emperor Dan suddenly exclaimed. At the same time, the surging Kang Chon's cultivation didn't stop because of his successful foundation establishment. He went from the first layer of the foundation establishment stage, directly rushed to the third layer of the foundation establishment stage, and finally stopped at the peak of the third layer of the foundation establishment stage. As the saying goes, the accumulation of nine years of Kang Chong's accumulation, coupled with the convergence of dozens of foundation establishment pills, allowed him to ascend to the heavens in a single step, crossing three small realms in a row to reach the peak of the third layer of the foundation establishment stage, Tiger Wissing Mountain Forest. Kang Chong, whose body was filled with power, was in desperate need of venting it out and he didn't care about the shocked Golden Monkey and Dan Emperor on the sidelines, so he rehearsed his fist technique in the stone cave. Kang Chong punched out like a fierce tiger roaring. Along his fist, a white tiger condensed by true chi directly erupted. Roaring as it pounced towards the front, that domineering aura surprised the Dan Emperor on the side. What Kang Chong was rehearsing was the Wong Clan's basic fist technique. The fierce tiger fist which was the most violent and domineering. But because it was difficult to practice, the entire Wong clan couldn't find a few that truly knew it. But at this moment, Kang Tian had struck the essence of this fist technique. Good boy, although this set of boxing is rough, this boy has utilized the domineering intent to strike the true essence of this set of boxing. I'm afraid that the person who created this set of boxing is not as good as him. The Dan Emperor on the side was shocked. Accompanied by Kang Chong's rehearsal, the entire stone cave trembled. Only after a full hour of venting did Kang Chong retract his stance and let out a breath of contentment. He felt that it was just a good just now, which was something he had never had before. In fact, Kang Chong didn't know that foundation building had been his heart problem all these years. Even though he had a very strong will, now that he had succeeded in building his foundation, his heart disease was removed, his thoughts were clear, and his entire being was naturally refreshed. This was not only a breakthrough in his cultivation, but also a breakthrough in his realm. Elder Dan, how is it? Thought about what my bloodline is. Kang Chon smiled and said to Dan Huang. At this moment, he was no longer facing Dan Huang. With the same awe he had earlier, as if he was facing a person of the same rank. Even though Kang Tian knew that he was still not a match for Emperor Dan right now, there was no awe in his heart, because all that filled his heart at the moment was confidence. Emperor Dan also clearly noticed Kang Tian's change. His eyes became more and more surprised, and at the same time, he became more certain of the speculation in his heart that this was definitely that kind of bloodline. Thinking of this, Emperor Dan smiled gently and said, 
worthy of being someone who possesses Kang Tion's hegemonic blood, truly extraordinary. Kang Tion hegemony blood. Kang Tion sniffed in confusion. Yes, it's the Kang Tion hegemony blood. Dan Lao sighed. Kid, do you know? 10,000 years ago, a strong person with purple blood also appeared in our flood continent. And ever since this person appeared, the entire flood continent underwent a huge change. This is a legend. As soon as he appeared, he dominated the young generation and swept away the young supreme powerhouses of both the righteous and demonic parts in the cultivation world. He was invincible. Coupled with his wild and overbearing character, he would exterminate people's entire clans and pit people's sex at the drop of a hat, almost becoming a public enemy in the cultivation world. But his strength grew stronger and stronger the more he fought. And in the end, even the older generation couldn't cure him when they stepped in. Emperor Dan's gaze was far-reaching, as if he had seen that era. This is a supreme genius that is rare to see in 10,000 years, especially when he was ascending to the heavenly realm through his tribulation. On that occasion, countless supreme experts from the entire flood continent had teamed up to exterminate him, wanting to take advantage of the time when he was seriously injured from his tribulation to exterminate him. It is estimated that the entire flood wasteland continent can't forget that battle. That battle was shocking. In the end, only three seriously injured Jedi powerhouses escaped. We also learnt about the battle from their mounts. It is said that that maniac, at the time of his apocalypse, against the heavenly apocalypse above his head, killed the Jedi experts who came to extinguish him one by one, and that the lucky three who escaped also relied on their self, destructing immortal weapons before they the three lucky ones who escaped also, escaped by virtue of their self-destructing immortal weapons. But even so, those three Jedi powerhouses were too heavily injured, and soon their souls were scattered. That battle consumed almost the entire Flood Continent's Jedi Masters, and only now have they barely recovered. Although few people know that legend now, the older generation of cultivators cannot forget that darkest era of the cultivation world. Emperor Den looked at the somewhat dazed Kang Tion and said, That person's bloodline is one of the legendary ten bloodlines, Kang Tion hegemony blood. Kang Tion's heart was thrilled at the moment. He really hadn't thought that there was such a legend about his bloodline. He was stunned by that powerful person in the legend. Enemies in the world, invincible in the world. What kind of terrifying existence was this? It was simply heaven-defying. 